136 years, the Art Students League has been providing an environment that has allowed a community of artists to flourish and develop. center of the art world at that time. Everybody came there. At lunchroom, you, uh, you could meet some of the most famous people of the period. So the, the league was quite a variety of possibilities. When people talk about the league, they talk about it the best times of their lives. They talk about who they studied with, and what they learned, and what they discovered, and how special it is. So the League had all these various characters teaching there that were very interesting people. I was at the League from 1931 to about 1980. But first I was a professional printer there for the League. And then from that, I, so I became an instructor both in graphics and painting. Here, the, the drive to really understand painting, drawing, printmaking, sculpture, has never left. It's truly an extraordinary place. I've always looked at art as being a language, a purely visual language that has its own intrinsic uh, grammar and vocabulary. And I look at the approaches to uh, visual art, uh, like abstraction or realism, or expressionism or impressionism to be like dialects of that language. And understanding that language is, is as challenging as understanding any foreign language. It takes a lot of work and learning how to see in order to really understand or get the vocabulary and grammar of visual art. And you come in, you work, you get critiqued, you learn from your fellow students. You're joining a, a community uh, in, in a way as much as you're, you're joining a class. It's almost like a utopian society of artists and uh, maintaining that has really been the, the goal and the continued goal of, uh, of the Art Students League. you understand the language, the more you start to understand greater possibilities than you originally thought of. It, it's never, it, once you understand it or begin to understand it, it's never what you thought it was when you came in. At the League, you could study with anyone you wish to study with. No one told you who to study with. So it was a different kind of a school. And so uh, I looked through the catalog, and, uh, and I decided that, uh, that one that interested me was uh, Stuart Davis. <laughs> When you look at the rich history of this place and you see the roster of, of, of names that uh, came through here, George O'Keefe, Jackson Pollock, the name, you know, the, the, the list just goes on. We are continuing that tradition. We are continuing to train the next Jackson Pollock or the next Mark Rothko or the next Frederick Remington. There 
are so many stories that are attached to the Art Students League. This is the fertile ground for people like Helen Frankenthaler, or Louise Nevelson, or Barnett Newman. This is the place where these people were allowed to come to learn at their own pace, to glean as much as they could, to absorb as much from their instructors as they could, and really add so much to the lexicon of American art.